like learning about heat transfer. And I see that you guys have a tray of water and a bottle and a penny. And what are you trying to do with that bottle, Gabby? What are you trying to see? We're trying to see the penny float. You want to see if the penny, if, if the penny moves. Okay, so let's set it up, Melody. Go ahead and tip that bottle over. Put it upright. And Gabby, fish out that penny and put it right on the lid of the bottle. Okay, now Melody, are your hands pretty warm? Okay, I want you to grip the outside of the bottle and see if the penny moves without touching it. So grip it hard. Keep watching. There it moves. Keep watching, keep watching Melody. There it moved, oh. good, okay, so I'm gonna come over here to awesome. table two. So tip your bottle over, table two. We wanna see if by touching a cold bottle with warm hands that the conduction from your hands will create hot air in the bottle. And we know that hot air rises, right? Yes. When hot air rises, what do we call that? What kind of heat transfer is that called? Convection. Yes, Diego, convection. Okay, so grab that bottle and see if the penny moves. Hold it tight. That's it. There it moved. Let me get closer. Watch the penny. There it goes. So that hot air inside the bottle is rising and it's pushing the penny. Good job, table two. And I'm coming over here to table seven. Table seven, flip your bottle over. Make sure that penny's wet so it makes a nice seal around the mouth of the bottle. There you go. That's right, Gift, put it right on the mouth so it seals it. Okay, and Amaya's gonna warm up the bottle. Let's see if it moves. There it moved. Now, Jennifer, why is it moving? Why is the penny moving? What's making it move? Um, heat. Heat is making it move. And Hansla, what kind of heat transfer is that? When a gas rises, when, when hot air rises. What kind of... Can you say it? Con... Conduction, convection. Convection. So her hand touching the bottle, that's conduction. That's a solid to a solid, right? But when the air inside the bottle warms up and makes that penny move, that's convection. Let's see if it moves again. And the warmer your hands are, the better this will work. So you can rub your hands together and get them really warm. And I'm going to come over here to table six. Table six, go ahead and flip your bottle over. And put that penny on the mouth of the bottle so it makes a nice seal. <laughs> you gotta fish it out of there. You're doing great, Jada. There you go. Okay. Let's see if you can move that penny without touching it, Jada. Get really close. There it moved. There it moves again. <laughs> Keep watching. Jada, why is the penny moving? Because it's heat transfer from the bottle. The heat is transferring, that's right, from the bottle. So, uh, Mason Crowley, what kind of heat transfer is this? Is this convection or conduction that makes that penny go? Convection. Convection, because it's it's hot air moving, right? Yes. Transfer, heat transfer through a gas there. Okay, you guys can take turns holding the bottle and seeing if you can get the penny to move. Okay, let's come back over here. Do you guys want to try again? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Who has really warm hands? Okay, Mahalik, go ahead. Get that penny wet. That's really important. So no gas can escape. Really Unless the penny moves. Let's see. It moves a little. It's moving a little bit. There it got. I saw it. I saw it move. That's right. I did. There it moves. Moved again. Very cool. Awesome. Fourth graders learning about heat transfer. Hi,